Hello, my name is Andy Whittaker, and I'm going to show you how we disassemble a binary from a Bosch ME 7.5 ECU. Because it is an embedded binary, we initially do not know the memory map or layout of the hardware. Therefore, we have to make some guesses to determine what exactly the memory map is going to end up as. OK, so let's load a binary into IDA Pro here. We select open from the top menu and select our binary, which happens to be a Volkswagen Passat 1.8 Turbo. IDA correctly determines it's a binary file, but it doesn't know what the processor is going to be. So what we do from the drop down combo box, we select Siemens C166. We select OK. We want to change it and then we get this basic memory map box up. We know that the C167 reset vector is at 000, so we keep this exactly as it is and we accept the defaults. It needs to know the flavour of processor that we've got, which is a C167CR underscore SR <laughs> IDA very politely pops up this box to say don't expect very much at this stage we click OK and IDA goes to work OK we're at the reset vector here which is 000 and IDA has very thoughtfully disassembled and labelled the first reset handler subroutine. We double click here and here's the first reset handler. The first thing that must happen is that the CPU must set up to match the environment that it's running in. This includes the code pointer, the memory map and how the address lines are arranged to decode the dresses. The weight state the memory is capable of and the bus architecture and the limits of the stack which is down here. The most important values for us at the moment are the data page pointers. These are DPP0, DPP1, DPP2 and DPP3. DPP2 is normally there for RAM accesses and DPP1 and DPP0, pair, the pair of those, are there for ROM accesses. DPP3 is normally left alone at its default value of 3 because th this is used for what's called XRAM accesses which is another name for internal fast RAM that's in the processor itself. OK, from this information, and knowing a little bit about the C167 architecture, it looks like the ROM is partially decoded. By that, we mean that the ROM sits in memory space multiple times. So it probably means that the first 64K sits at 000, and the rest of the binary sits at 810000 in hex. Note that the whole memory space actually sits at 800000, but the first 64K is ignored. If you look here with DPP2, there's also a bit of RAM in the ECU, and that lives at 0x380000. So, we need to reload the binary, but properly in the address space that we've made out here. We need to hack the binary, really, into two sections. First of all, we need to cut out the first 64K and save it, and then we save the other remaining bit too. In the next tutorial, we'll discard this disassembly and start all over again, but with our new knowledge.